starts now. Good afternoon. I'm Nate Myhock, and welcome to Up North at 4. We've got a doozy of a show for you today. We'll meet with the folks from Trees for Tomorrow. They'll explain some upcoming summer yeah, programs that now. they'll be hosting. Plus Welcome on back to Up North at 4. I'm sitting down here with Todd and Cheryl from Trees for Tomorrow, and we just want to briefly touch on what exactly is Trees for Tomorrow for anybody who doesn't know. Um, as a reminder, we're an environmental education center located in Eagle River. Okay. And you're a gem. You've been around since 1944. <laughs> yes. You do so much for the community. You're a nonprofit, mm -hmm. right? And your goal is to do what in the community? Really to teach people about environmental education, to teach people about natural resource management mm -hmm. um, through a variety of programs. And speaking of programs, I think we need to address the elephant in the room, or in this case, the uh, <laughs> big plastic bin in the room. What, what exactly is this and what's this all about? Uh, well, this is a, a compost bin. Uh, so to kick off our, our summer season, uh, we're having a uh, composting program on April 23rd. Uh, the program runs from 9 till 11. And uh, with the, uh, the program, so the prog program costs $75 uh, with, uh, with a bin. The bins are 128 gallons. Um, and uh, you, can, you can fit, uh, uh, I believe it's eight 30 gallon bags of, of compost in this wow. thing. Uh, without the bin, uh, the class is $25 uh, a person. Okay. Yeah, and Cheryl, composting is one of those things that seems to be cyclical. People get involved and kind of lose interest. You know, where do people go wrong with composting? I feel like Todd can answer that probably a little bit better than me. Uh, well, people will go wrong by, uh, by not knowing how to, to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you start a compost bin, uh, you don't put the right materials in the bin, and it starts to smell. Uh, rodents, pests get into it and, and it turns bad quickly. Mm -hmm. If you know how to properly, properly manage your, uh, your compost heap, uh, you, uh, the, the bin won't smell and then at the end of the season you have uh, compost for your flowers and veggie garden. Nice. Well you mentioned people are putting in the, the wrong uh, objects into their composting bins, so what exactly should people be putting into their bins? Uh, Mostly vegetables, kitchen scraps, uh, things like that. And then, of course, uh, organic uh, materials like uh, grass clippings, uh, leaves shredded up, uh, some, uh, um, some, some soil uh, to, to break it down. Um, a, a good mixture of, of everything. Um, yeah. And I think the trick is to give it time, right? It doesn't happen overnight. This is composting. It takes some time, right? Yeah, it takes some time. Uh, it, it takes a little bit of care. you gotta, you got to get in and turn it and... and, and Make sure it's watered. This one comes with a, uh, a lid on it, so you do want to give it a little bit of water now and, now and then. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, definitely the, the time is, is the trick with that. Absolutely. And obviously the composting is not the only thing you guys have going on uh, coming up here. You're telling me you had a bunch of summer programs. What can maybe people expect from, from you guys this summer? Yeah, we um, already this spring we have a series called Nature Adventures, and that's the third Saturday of every month. And that's for people of all ages. Families can participate that in that, adults. Um, on April uh, 16th, we have a survival class. So that's this weekend. And then in May, we have a um, canoeing uh, trip on the Wisconsin River as part of our Nature Adventure Series. And then during the summer in June, we have our whole summer program series, which has something for everybody for all ages. Uh, we've got programs on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, um, some during the day, some in the evenings. Again, uh, just check out our, our calendar, our schedule um, on our website, and you can get more information and register right there. All right, let's talk survival class. What <laughs> is that all about? That's got my interest picked up. Hey, Jeff's <laughs> ears just perked right up when you said that. Uh, the survival class is, is a bit of a mix. Uh, we're, uh, we're teaching archery, uh, for one. Uh, so they'll, they'll come out, use our equipment to, uh, to learn how to properly uh, shoot and mm -hmm. um, uh, take care of a bow. And then uh, we're, we're doing some fire lighting. And if the conditions are right, maybe some shelter building uh, uh -huh. as well. Uh, as you said, with the weather there, it's not going to be the nicest day on Saturday. but. Uh, a warm fire will uh, will definitely help everyone with that. Sure. Absolutely, I can imagine. And so you guys gave me these flyers before you came on air. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this a little bit. If people want to learn a little bit more uh, mm -hmm. about you guys and maybe sign up for some programs, where can they find you and who, who should they get in contact with? Yeah, they can go to our website, treesfortomorrow.com, 
And uh, if you go to the visit page, there's a visit link right at the top, and that will get you to all of our community programs. Um, if someone's interested in our school programs, they can go to the schools tab, or they can call our office, um, and Julie in the office, or Ashley would be happy to help. Um, and that's 715-479-6456. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for coming on. And of course, after the break on Up North at 4, I'll give Jeff some new haircut looks. Plus, we'll discuss one of the...